Fundamental problem F36 says, determine the tension in cables AB, BC, and CD necessary to support the 10 kilogram and 15 kilogram traffic lights at B and C respectively. Also find the angle theta. So of course, as you can see here, we have a diagram of the two traffic lights that are held by two posts, one at A and one at D. And as you can see, we have the angle theta as well between the horizontal plane and the cable CD. And now to find the tensile forces on these cables, we should of course start by sketching a free body diagram of the system showing all the acting forces. So now here, since we have two points of interest, I'll go ahead and split the system and start off with point B. So here, of course, we have the tension force of cable BC. TBC, which appears to act along the horizontal, and then the tension force of cable AB, which I'll call TAB, and this acts at a 15 degree angle from the horizontal. And then of course we have the weight of traffic light B, which I'll call WB, and that of course is equal to 10 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. Since of course weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. And here we can just use the typical X and Y coordinate system. All right, so now that we have completed our free body diagram of point B, showing all the forces acting at point B, we can now focus on finding these tensions, which in this case are TAB and TBC. And so how do we solve for forces and statics? Well, of course, we need to apply equilibrium to our system, ensuring that the sum of forces are equal to zero. And now before that, of course, we know one force, which is the weight of traffic light B. So we know WB, which is equal to 98.1 Newtons. And since this known force acts in the Y direction, we can go ahead and solve for TAB first, since that has a component in the Y direction. So to find TAB, we of course set the sum of forces in the Y direction equal to zero, assuming up as positive. So that'll be equal to, well, here we have the weight of traffic light B, which points downwards. So that's equal to negative 98.1 plus, here we're going to need the y component of TAB, which points upwards. And of course, to find this component, we can use trigonometry, knowing that sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, where in this case, TABY is the opposite side. And TAB, the magnitude of this force vector, is the hypotenuse. So hence, sine of the angle 15 degrees is equal to TABY over TAB. And now solving TABY from this, we have TABY is equal to TAB times sine of 15 degrees. So therefore, adding this to our equilibrium equation, this will be plus TAB times sine of 15 which again is the y component of TAB. So now solving for TAB, adding the 98.1 to the other side of the equation and dividing by sine of 15, TAB will be equal to 98.1 over sine of 15, which is roughly equal to 379.03 Newtons. So hence the tension in cable AB is equal to 379.03 newtons. So now that we know TAB, we can now go ahead and solve for TBC. And of course, TBC acts in the positive x direction. So to find it, we can set the sum of forces in the x direction equal to zero, assuming to the right as our positive direction. So that is equal to positive TBC, and then we need the X component of TAB, which of course acts in the negative X direction.
And now for this x component, tabx, we know that cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, where in this case, tabx is the adjacent. So therefore, this x component will simply be equal to tab times cosine of 15 degrees, where of course, tab is 379. So now solving for TBC, TBC will be equal to 379.03 times cosine of 15 degrees, which is roughly equal to 366.11 newtons. So hence, the tension in cable BC is equal to 366.11 newtons. So now the final tension we need to find is CD. So therefore, we now need a free body diagram at point C. So here at point C, we have tension CD, which is at an angle theta. And then to the left is tension BC. And of course, the weight of traffic light C, which here I'll write as WC which is equal to the 15 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared, which equals 147.15 newtons. So now that we have all the forces on the free body diagram, we can go ahead and find TCD by of course applying equilibrium to this side of the system. So for instance, here we can set the sum of forces in the X direction equal to zero. And here TBC points in the negative direction this time. So this will be negative TBC, which is negative 366.11. And then here plus the X component of TCD, since it points to the right. So this will be plus TCD times cosine of theta. And now this completes the equation for the sum of forces in the X direction. But if you notice here, we have two unknowns and only one equation. So therefore we cannot solve for TCD since we will need two equations for the two unknowns. So hence the only other equation which we can use is the sum of forces in the Y direction. So setting the sum of forces in the Y direction equal to zero. Here, this will be the weight which again points downwards. So that is negative 147.15. And then plus the Y component of TCD since it points upwards. And that is TCD times sine of theta. So as you can see, we now have two unknowns and two equations. So we can now go ahead and solve them as a system of linear equations. So go ahead and call this first equation, equation one, and the second one, equation two. Now we can try to solve these using substitution. So I'll go ahead and sub in equation one and equation two. So starting with equation one, let's isolate TCD. So TCD here is equal to 366.11 divided by cosine theta. So using this expression for TCD, let's go ahead and plug it into equation two. So subbing in TCD, this will be negative 147.15 plus 366.11 over cosine theta times sine theta, where again, this is TCD. And this whole expression is equal to zero. And as you can see here, it's of course in terms of theta. So we'll first have to solve for theta in order to find TCD. And now I'll just go ahead and rewrite this expression as negative 147.15 plus 366.11 times sine theta over cosine theta equals zero. And now for this fraction right here, we can go ahead and simply use trig identities to simplify this expression. 
knowing that sine theta over cosine theta is equal to tangent theta. So therefore, rewriting this, we will have negative 147.15 plus 366.11 times tangent theta is equal to zero. So since we need to find angle theta according to the problem statement, and we also needed to find TCD, we can go ahead and simply solve for theta. So isolating theta from the expression above, we will have theta is equal to tangent inverse of 147.15 over 366.11. Which is roughly equal to 21.896 degrees. So, hence, the angle theta is equal to about 21.9 degrees. So, now that we know the value of theta, we can now finally solve for TCD by substituting in theta in either equation 1 or 2. So for this case, I'll just go ahead and use equation one, but again, you can also use equation two as you will get the same answer. So this will be negative 366.11 plus TCD times cosine of 21.9 degrees equals zero. So now solving for TCD, TCD will be equal to 366.11 divided by cosine of 21.9, which is roughly equal to 394.57. So hence, the tension in cable CD is equal to 394.57 newtons.